Some people say Abraham Lincoln isn't the greatest president. Oh God, there's someone there. There's someone there. Oh no, they ruined my pun. They ruined it. Round two. Some say Abraham Lincoln isn't the greatest president of all time, and while they're totally wrong, you know, I'm pretty much okay to, you know, let it slide. So, I'm trying to find my way back to my car, and uh, this entire week I'm actually spending homeless and sleeping out of my car. And I'm walking past Holiday Inn, and they've got public parking, and I bet they'd validate if I got a room. And so I'm like, oh, I could pay for a parking spot that I'm less likely to get kicked out of and more likely to be safe in. And then I think, oh, I'm gonna spend $40, I might as well just get a room. And I'm already getting tempted to back out. A couple days ago, um, I had a domestic violence thing by my house and got involved a little bit. Um, anyways, the point of that being, I'm a little bit more spooked by being out and about now at night. The sirens make it so much better. <laughs> um, but anyways, my point is that I needed to say this to the camera. One, for the documentation, but two, because if I say it to the camera and I'm not going to back out because of it, my, my, my biggest fear, which is kind of irrational, is that they would like take me in for parking at the Walmart. Not very long, but just long enough that I couldn't actually participate in the uh, March for Science tomorrow, which would just be really frustrating to have driven all this way and not be able to do it. So I'm like, oh, I could get, I could get a place tonight. Oh, I could do this. But that's not what the challenge is. If I have to, I'll just stay up the whole night in Walmart and walk around, they won't have a problem with that. Making it back to my car right now, trying to find Independence Avenue, which I somehow overshot and went too many blocks that way to get to my car, but I think I'm gonna make it back and that everything's gonna be fine. It's interesting putting up 400 things on the board and thinking like, yeah, all you have to do is tough through it. All you have to do is tough through it. And the prospect of sleeping in my car, not even on the street, in my car on the streets is freaking me out. And now you can vaguely see the glowing Washington Memorial behind me because I have found my way back to Independence Avenue. I have found myself some pizza. The guy was kind enough to fill up my water bottle. I'm amazed at how weird it feels to be in a foreign place, not have a planned place to sleep. It's weird. I have pizza to comfort me. I apparently have lied to you. <laughs> Can't find my car. Can't find it anywhere. So I have uh, walked, I know I'm in two, three block radius of where my car is. Um, I'm trying to find a brick building and I can't find it and I'm getting tired of walking so I'm gonna go over here. Oh hey, they have a parkour thing here. This is so cool. I don't think now is the time, but it's super cool. If you can't tell, I'm a little stressed out right now. But for the most part, I'm sure I'll be fine. Anyways, uh, there's a little bike rental station over here, so I'm gonna go rent a bike. I'm trying to document this properly, but it's really hard to like ride a bike well without both hands. Okay, this is the police station. I was never this far down. All right, so next place. Ah, gotta find this car. We're gonna sweep the city. I got this. So now even sweeping has failed me, so I tr decided to retrace my steps. You can see the marina over there, and I can see some lights that I saw on the bridge when I first got in here. It's been one heck of an adventure for the first day. I only have 364 more of these to go. It's only like 10, but I've been trying to do this for an hour, and I finally found one of the roads that I took to get to this god-forsaken parking space. It's gonna be right between those freaking buildings. And on the bright side, I, oh my gosh, on the bright side, this is a hill. <laughs> and I should change gears. Oh, God, I wish I could stand up, but I had to videotape this. <gasps> oh, God, home sweet home. Beautiful baby. Beautiful baby. <laughs> Whew. We, we did it. Can't believe it. All right, now I get to go sleep in a car tonight. 
So I've decided not to stay at Walmart tonight. After trying to find my vehicle for such a long time, I decided the environment around Washington, D.C. was a little hectic for me, especially because it took me so long to find this car, and I'm not allowed to use my phone, so I can use only an Atlas. And so when I was coming in, I decided to go ahead and look around, and I saw a Flying J. I hope it also has a shower, but if not, it's well lit, it's 24 hours, I'm gonna be safe here, it's only an hour drive back into DC tomorrow and I can get water and food here should I need it. Uh, I've decided to go for the shower here and it's like, it's like a little hotel here. Oh, I think here. The shower right here. A little step down there. First things first, I don't think I've ever been in front of a camera naked. This is way nicer. I expect it to be this nice, but I can stay in here as long as I want. And oh my god, I'm so confused. I gotta say, that was like the single greatest sensation I've ever had was taking that shower. That was art, was what that was. Now to go to bed. I don't want to be up here in front where everyone is, but I still want to be visible, so I'm gonna go over her. Wendy's is open late. How late is late? I like Frosties though. Here I am in my little corner over here. It is well lit. I don't think anyone's gonna come to me. This way I'm looking out, no one's gonna come up over here. Wake me up, not over here, but maybe over here. So I'm gonna wake up early anyways. It's been a long, stressful day. Face some fears, several of them. Let's see, I rebranded. I went to a new city. I took a long road trip by myself. I showered in a uh, truck station. I won't be counting this until later in the week, but I'm spending the night homeless. There was one more I was gonna count, but I can't. Oh, I got lost. I got lost in freaking DC. Hopefully, getting lost in the future is more of an adventure than a scare. But like six things in a six things in a day. We're gonna count five because I'm not gonna count homeless until the end of the week. But spend every day being dauntless, my friends. And now I got my window down a little bit. Got my alarm set. Throw a hat on my face. Stay dauntless.